Hey guys, today I'm reviewing My Bloody Valentine, Loveless. Classic album. Basically, Loveless is considered to be the first shoegaze album or major shoegaze album. My Bloody Valentine basically bankrupt their um, record label to make the album and they got this. Now online, people love this album. I think it's severely overrated, but it's pretty good. The album runs about 50 minutes and it's not super long or it doesn't feel super long. Most of the tracks on here go anywhere from two, most of them being three to five ish minutes though. So it's not a lot of short tracks. Now, for those who don't know, Shoegaze is basically just, um, let's put a bunch of fucking instruments on. Let's make sure we record it in a weird way. And then it just kind of sounds like a hole you're being sucked into like a vacuum. That's the, that's the notable comparison most people make is it sounds like a vacuum. So first off the intro and outro really good, really good intro and outro. The intro being only shallow immediately kicks off the sound of this album. It's going to be this kind of noisy swirling sound with these really catchy kind of guitar. I think it's riffs. I, I don't know. And these kind of vocals that you can barely hear the best songs on this album have vocals that go right under the instruments where you can't really make out what they're saying but you can kind of get the flow of their voice and it's very, very catchy and it's really good. And of course the outro soon might be my favorite song on the album, if not second. Super good track that ends the album off fantastically. It carries the same energy the intro has and slowly fades out, which I think works really well for this album. And that's one thing about this album that I really enjoy is the energy. Throughout the entire album, it carries the same energy and it never kind of fades away from it. There's moments where it kind of experiments with it, but the energy is there the whole time. This rough, noisy sort of sound. My two favorite songs on the album are definitely Soon and what you want. These two songs highlight the amazing mix when the vocals and the instruments are able to come together and make arguably the best parts of this album. And that's what it comes to, honestly, because there is about three-ish tracks where I don't really think they need to be on the album or they're not super necessary. However, these tracks don't like distract you from the rest of the album. They definitely fit right into the album. I just think that they very much shy in comparison to most of the tracks on this album. My main two tracks being Loomer and Touched, I really just think are kind of average. Touched is excusable because it's 50 seconds and this is the only track on the album where it's noticeably different if there's this weird experimental kind of hypnotic if that makes sense think of like i don't know fucking know the drowsy from pokemon doing that shit that's what it sounds like i do enjoy the track somewhat but i really don't think it needs to be on the album but i think it fits into the sound well enough that it doesn't not need to be there loomer is exactly what i don't like about the album where it's so noisy and so vacuumy distracts you from everything else it almost takes over the actual sound and maybe that's the point but i really just don't think that's great for music so loomer i also think isn't really a great track but it's short and it carries the sound of the album and that's why i don't have a huge issue with these tracks because it carries the sound of the album and it remains relatively short especially compared to the longer songs which are really good on this album overall though i think this album is really fantastic i do think it's a bit overrated but overall the sound is super interesting and unique and it's able to carry this energy for like 50 whole minutes which is kind of fucking incredible i'm going to be giving my Bloody Valentine, Loveless, a 9 out of 10. So that's my thoughts on the album. What did you guys think of the album? Did you like it? Do you not like it? Say anything else in the comments, you feel me? Thank you for watching and have a good day. What you want, but you know that I'm alive.